What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Mroots, and welcome back to F1 2021. We have a brand new game mode to play. Breaking Point, Codemasters, brand new story mode, highly anticipated. Everybody's been looking forward to this because it sees the return of Devin Butler, our rival from F1 2019. I beat this bitch back two years ago and I intend to beat this Cro-Magnum man looking bitch again. We take on the role of F1 rookie Aiden Jackson as he faces off against teammate Casper Ackerman and rival Devin Butler in this action-packed story experience. I've been very excited for this. I hope you guys are excited for this series. I'm looking forward to it. So let's get it started. Let's go! Difficulty, I'm not a little bitch, so I don't think I'm gonna do normal, but I'm not like crazy, and I'm using a controller, I'm not on a wheel. So we'll probably go with challenging to start. Now I get to pick me a team. I could go with Alpha Tori. Cognizant, Alfa Romeo, No, and Williams. Well, those two, do I want to finish last every week? Do I want to finish next to last every week? This is interesting because you start as BWT. You still drive the pink cars to start, and then in season two, it turns into the chrome green. Kind of want to go with this one, just because that, I like that car. And I can rock the pink for a season, so we're going with that. Assists and settings. I want to adjust some stuff before we get started. We'll use these settings and these settings. Time to start breaking point. An incredible race, and look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive. Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric, and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. I loved how that guy said paddock. Paddock? I don't know really what I'm supposed to be doing here. Focused. You know what to do. Stay focused. I know what to do. I really don't know what to do. No one's really giving me any sort of instruction. We're just, we're going for it, everybody. What's this camera angle? Where's, where's, wait a goddamn second. That's a little bit better. The hand, whoa. Handling, eh, I don't really like it too much so far. It's very loose. I heard the beep. I don't see a DRS anything though so i don't really know what what that is if we even have it i haven't played any of this at all yet i just did the oncoming traffic video yesterday i haven't done any racing so this is all very new to me so I, I'm, I'm just like trying to learn the whole layout of everything here what lab are we on uh, we're on lap four of six okay so we only got a couple more to go i'm assuming i'm supposed to win the race if I had to guess, that's what they want me to do. Hey, Queen Latifi, how you doing? Cycled through all the menus, and I don't see anything about DRS. I'm assuming we don't have it on these cars, but that doesn't explain why I hear the beep when we go through the DRS zone. We're running down ghetto. So far, this hasn't been too difficult. I've been able to pass people pretty easily. Coming down to one to go. You're gonna have to get O out the lead. See ya! Round in the last couple corners. I don't know why this place has so many corners. Aiden Jackson, is he getting his, whoa! First career dub, he almost pissed it away right there, coming to the checkered flag. First dub, 50th dub of the season, I don't really know. Fantastic. But we got it. And he's done it, Jackson's done it. Aiden Jackson wins the F2 championship. Oh! What a win for Jackson! We're what champions! And he couldn't have I'm going down to the patch and celebrating. And here he is, the man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Who the fuck was that guy? Chapter one, having won the Formula Two Drivers Championship, Aiden Jackson has now secured a seat in Formula One. 
Well, that was easy, and is preparing to take his first steps into the world's most prestigious motorsport series. Australia Grand Prix several months later. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Kasper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Kasper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Kasper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I'll get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? Aiden, just wondering if we can get your reaction oh, to the God. obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans? who are calling you the new Devon Butler. <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we could lose the old one? <laughs> you come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's gonna be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. That guy looks like a walrus. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. <sighs> Come on, Aiden. You've got this. A couple of things. PWT cleaned house. Lance Stroll isn't even there anymore. His daddy fired him. Another thing, all those motherfuckers look realistic as hell. They did a really good job. Third thing, another year of stupid Claire questions. Oh God, we're getting a phone call for Brian the Walrus. Hello? Aiden, are you in your room? Oh, Where's hey, this Brian. going? Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. What a I hope freak. You like Just do me a favor, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. I was waiting for him to ask me if I was naked. Is my damn phone gonna be ringing this entire series? Cause I'm already over that shit. Here's our Twitter timeline, even though it isn't Twitter, at Aiden Jackson F1 to make sure that you know that I am an F1 driver. Got some emails from Otmar, from Jeff Nelson, and from Casper the Friendly Ghost. Let's see what the hell these guys want. The title says it all, really pleased to have you with us, but then you know that already. Anything you need, just ask Brian the Walrus. He's your liaison. I'm surprised I knew how to say that. And anything he tells you to do, just treat it like it comes from me. Looking forward to this season, I'll see you in the briefing. Otmar Snafu. I noticed that you left the paperwork over in the garage, so I handed it to your PA. You can thank me later. Oh, God. And hey, good luck out there today. Well, that's the least nice. It's your first race, but let's see what we could do together. Casper, the friendly ghost, you are friendly. Thank you for picking up my paperwork. I'm such a slob. Poll history? Well, I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to talk to more people and rewards. I guess we're just, let's go to the race. With the world watching and expectations high at Racing Point, F1 rookie Aiden Jackson appears to be holding his own in his maiden race in Melbourne. With the possibility of a points finish, he keeps focused on the race in front of him. The Australian Grand Prix. Mid-race. Alrighty then. Well, this is different. They're just throwing me right the hell into this. 
Right in with the wolves, nine laps. Oh, solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. That's a lot of laps. Crew chief, first Grand Prix. They're starting me already nine laps in. That's different. Kind of cool, different. I, I like that. They want me to catch up to Casper the Friendly Ghost before lap 11. It's currently lap six. Oh, I could get him. I don't know if I could get him. I'll take it three wide. I'll do it. I'm not afraid. I probably should have been afraid. That really didn't work out too well. I got through one of them. No! I'm so sorry. There we go. Now we got both of them. All right, I'm actually moving forward. I wasn't really moving forward there for a little bit. Casper, two spots nice away. Work. I got a few more laps. Like? Just realized that they're using the ERS for me, that it's on automatic. I got to change that. Oh, great. We're coming up on that little bitch. I want... We're closing in on Casper now, Aiden. Good job. ERS back so I could blast the doors off this pussy. I didn't even realize that. Ugh, get the fuck out the way, pussy. I didn't know that I had that assist turned on. Fuck, I so badly want to pass this guy. Get you some. Yeah, look at my gearbox. Look at it. Bitch. Almost there. What? What a brilliant Australian Grand Prix this has been. But there's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty. And these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devin Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Hey, Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's okay. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11. On this car one. And it doesn't. Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he okay? Is Casper okay? He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it. So I'm sure there's going to be fireworks in the Racing Point Garage this evening. There will be, Crofty, for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aiden Jackson. Not how his F1 race debut should have gone. That was on me. I'll take ownership of that. I'll be damned if that little baby back bitch driving for Alfa Romeo beats me. Hell to the no! I was so confused when they took control over the car. I thought I was still going to be driving another couple laps and I just had to get by him, but I, 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 this is interesting. This is very different. I like it. I told you I wouldn't let my butler Jeeves defeat me. I'm going to pass you. I want that point. Come on. Come on, big suck, big suck. See ya, bitch! Go and get me a biscuit! I don't know what possessed my butler to give up his butler duties and to enter into Formula One. Chuck Norris, you're next! I want another point! You might get him, that was late, that was late, but it worked! You got to risk it to get the biscuit, but I never get my own biscuit. That's on Jeeves! One lap to go this time. Doubtful that I could get all the way up to Albino and Gassy. There are ways up the road. I might have to settle for ninth. Well, aside from punting Ackerman's shit, which I don't even know if I'm willing to take full responsibility for because Jeeves the butler had a lot to do with that. He said all that. I was making a clean pass, and he decided to make it three wide. Who goes three wide in Formula One? But aside from all of that, I'd say this was a pretty successful debut for Aiden Jackson. I'm gonna get my shit kicked in by Ackerman though. I know he's gonna blame me. Uh oh, am I gonna get a punch thrown my way? I feel it coming. Yay, King Louis V wins another fucking race. Just give him the championship trophy now. Save us all a lot of time and effort. An awkward incident involving Butler Jeeves and his own teammate, Casper Ackerman, more Jackson's maiden outing in F1. Let the shouting match begin. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. 
You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh. Butler. Um, Devon. I didn't see that. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Fuck Look, you! I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Shut up! Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't settled in yet. Douchebag! Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth Racing Point we're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Aiden. let's talk about that incident with your teammate. I want to dropkick that motherfucker. Oh, God, Brian the Walrus is going to rip me a new asshole with his tusk. Brian, talk to me. You okay? No! What happened out there today? I had it all under control, and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it at the debrief. Ugh. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, I've got nothing. Pile of shit! Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. The Casper? <laughs> yeah, so he can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on. But you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief. I am getting my shit trampled for something that is hardly my fault. This feels like actual Twitter, just getting my shit kicked in from every quarter. At Into the Barrier, Jackson, I've got this. Cue the swerve, bunch of laughing emojis. Into the Barrier, you've been blocked. I'm glad at least someone is congratulating me on getting points in my very first Grand Prix. But then right after that, I'll be going through it all at the briefing, but we obviously need to talk about the incident with Casper at Turn 11. Is it so obvious? Do we have to? Saskia, that's a new name. Hey Aiden, we've got hair and makeup arriving at your hotel at 9 a.m. sharp. I know you said you didn't need it, but the client insists. Then a car will be there at 10 to take you to the location. Wardrobe will meet you on site. I've seen some of the looks they want. Be open-minded, okay? Open-minded? Are they gonna make me wear a dress? Since we've made it through chapter one, obviously, I think I'm going to end it there. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this going forward, if you want to see me continue this series. I thought it was fun. I thought there was something different. I like that they came up with this story mode and how you have these moments kind of that have already been created that just pop up in the middle of races it's kind of cool and Devin butler he was a bitch in f1 2019 he's a bitch in this game too jeeves a butler get me another batch of scones i'm done thank you guys for watching love eh, all y'all and i'll see you in the next one goodbye